Hello, my name is Sebastian Alvarez. I'm a sales engineer with LiveView, and today I'll be demoing uh, Cloud Graphics so the LiveView Solo. Um, once you have the, uh, the Solo option added to your account, you can simply come in here and turn on the Cloud Graphics. This engages the uh, engine when you start your stream and basically tells the portal that you will be using graphics for this particular stream. And as always, we do have to set our destination. Uh, we still have our one-touch streaming options to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Switchboard, Twitch, and Wowza, as, long, as well as uh, other high-profile CDN sites, um, and also our generic RTMP if you don't see your favorite uh, CDN here. But today I'll be going to my Facebook page, and I could simply click on my test corner. Um, we'll quickly uh, name this our demo graphics. And uh, we'll be skipping all the other settings, and we'll just go straight to live. And so this submits the configuration to the solo, and, and now we also get the option to choose which graphics template that we want. The graphics templates are split into two categories, basic and advanced, and depending on which um, graphics uh, account that you added to yours, it'll give you those options. Um, but we're going to do this live view theme right now, and we'll just, we could rename this for future use and have it saved to our our uh, templates. Um, so we'll just say graphics demo here as well. And then we'll give it a nice little graphics demo one at the end. And so this is assigning that template to my stream. And now we are we have our template ready to go. Um, we could we go ahead and start the stream. Uh, this is going to do a couple things while we're starting it, and, and it's telling us to please wait. Um, this is going to start the uh, graphics engine up, assign the profile that we picked, uh, start building those graphic elements in that profile, and also starting the, uh, the live view uh, encoded to start streaming and sending to the CDN. So the basic workflow still stands. It's the camera plugged into the solo HDMI or, or SDI, and then um, from the solo to the solo portal. But now the graphics engine is gonna, uh, gonna sit in the cloud, take it from the portal, put HTML graphics onto it, and then send it to your CDN, in this case, Facebook. Uh, we are starting to stream here. We can see our, our current bit rate to climb in this graph here. And uh, our graphics panel here tells us the composition the current playlist we're using, whether the engine is in a running state, and uh, the amount of time we have left. Now, with the two uh, account, the accounts, the basic account for the graphics and the advanced account for graphics, they each have a monthly allowance of hours. The basic has 10, the advanced has 30. And you could go through that per month. So basically, uh, January you'll have 10, February you have 10, and regardless if you use them up or not, you'll still have 10 for that month. Now, if you need more for any specific reason, you could always buy 10 additional hours in what we call buckets. Uh, these bucket hours will not be used until you use your allotted monthly uh, hours. So if you buy 10 hours uh, in a bucket and you stream 12 hours of graphics every month, it'll take you five months to go through that 10 hours. So now that we have our stream going and uh, we want to add graphics to it, uh, we can cl simply click on the Edit Graphics Control Panel. This will bring up our current uh, profile, uh, our template for the graphics. Uh, and on this page, what you do want to see starting off is you want to see this little icon here with a green circle on it, basically telling you we have a uh, graphics server assigned and it's engaged. And then there's a thin green bar here that's basically saying, yes, you do have an RTMP coming in. Uh, but to simply add graphics, we click on the plus sign or the add page uh, button here. And we could add a logo, we could add uh, say baseline static, and for good measure, we'll do an upper right. So all of these are, we could uh, preview these, we could uh, change the order of these just by clicking and dragging them. Um, we click on them, we could see what they'll look like in the preview window. Um, we could edit these just by uh, double clicking. These are all done in real time in the cloud, so I could get rid of all this. And just say, uh, hello world. And when I'm ready to take this graphic in, I hit the play button, and it'll come into the stream. Um, we could also go into our logo and have a nice little logo. And if I want to take this, I hit the red button, and it takes it in. And lastly, um, this one, so we'll change this one to, say, uh, New York City. Um, I'm going to put a timer on this one. I could come up into the timer and add a couple seconds to it. Say I just want this to be on the stream for three seconds. 
And so when I hit play, this will come up for three seconds. Um, just to show that the stream is coming to my face, uh, going to my Facebook with the graphics engaged, um, we're going to come in here, come to our, to our stream and hit play, and you can see that the graphics are engaged there. A um, couple options that I could play with here. Um, I could hit the, the stop button, and it'll stop all the, uh, the graphics elements on that, on that playlist. Um, going back with the timer, I'll put this one up for three seconds as well. Um, the auto advance button, if that's engaged, any and I hit play on any of these graphics, um, it'll auto advance to the ones that have timers on them. So the three will play, then the other three will play. If I hit the, um, the loop button, uh, this will continue indefinitely until I tell it to stop. So the first element and then the second element. Let me say stop. Um, I could add a different uh, playlist within the same um, template. So if I just want to have a slightly different uh, logo and a slightly different um, social media one here instead, I could come in here and do that as well. And I could just quickly switch between which ones I want from each. Um, the, um, the logo has a, was a unique characteristic. Um, it pulls the picture from either a publicly accessed uh, web URL, or we can upload the picture. Um, so if I want to change this to, say, this image of this baseball that I found, I could say copy image address, come into uh, the engine here, and just paste that here. And so now the, uh, the logo will change to that baseball. I could play that out. Uh, another way is if I wanted to upload an image, I could click on the, uh, the image, the little icon there. And then um, this uh, image browser allows you to uh, go through any recent images that you use, as well as has an upload assistant. So I can upload any image that I want from my computer to the engine, and the engine will create a URL for it from there. So I've already uploaded this picture twice. Um, so I can double click on it, and it'll change it from uh, the baseball to me. And we'll stop that. And now um, we could. Go back, um, we'll stop the stream, and I want to show you the other options that we have. So that was basically going through the basic uh, elements of the graphics. If we want to um, pull, put on, let's finish the live video real quick, and let this uh, reload. Mm -mm. If we want to go back and edit any playlist that we have, or uh, we could go and click on this edit any playlist button and these will this will show you all the playlists that you have saved so I also have this advanced one now the difference between the, the basic and advanced graphics is the advanced graphics are more sports themed so I could quickly show you what that one would look like now, this one's not live but we just have uh, this pulled up for a quick demo of them um, so the same logos but we do have these uh, full screened uh, more in, more engaged texts we have uh, head 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 to head uh, matchup text, uh, scoreboard uh, graphics. So these are more more in depth, and uh, hence why they're in the advanced package. Uh, we're going through. Um, you can click on these and edit these uh, anytime you wish. And uh, when you go back to making a new stream, instead of constantly making a new one like I like I did for the demo, when I uh, choose which one I want. I could uh, just hit the pick my template that I wanted and uh, go through it. So. I hope you enjoyed this quick demo of the, of the solo graphics. Um, if you want to add graphics to your stream, talk to your local Broadfield salesperson for the, uh, the graphics bundles that they have. I have. Thank you and have a great day. Broadfield Distributing is a value-added distributor of live production, streaming, video editing, and storage products. We only sell to resellers. We are always looking for new dealers, so call us at 800-634-5178 or email sales at broadfield.com. You'll like doing business with Broadfield because we make it easy to do business.